No words. No words. Free speech is dead. Okay, Excuse so me. You didn't do anything. You're definitely coming off. No. Right. We're not coming off. You are. Then you're going to have to take everyone off. This is ridiculous. Do you guys see what's happening in America? You guys, we're going to turn into China. It's coming. Cheap, cheap, cheap. The president or the mass of people didn't like what I said. Oh, I love Elon Musk. He is the best. I am suing you. What is your name, sir? I'm suing you. I'm not getting that. We have seen so many wacky moments with human beings making the skies rather unfriendly when flying, like this MAGA couple. Because my dog was on my lap. We'll have a conversation in the gym. Why? I need Grab to your stuff and come with me, ma'am. I'm not going to ask you again. Um, Just grab your stuff and come with me. You're kicking me off. This, you're going to put me on another plane. Ma'am, I need you to get your oh, stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Honey, we're about to fight then. My dog was sitting on my lap. I put him in the bag. He's in Don't the bag. Don't worry about it. I'm going to refund your ticket. You can go all southwest. Let's go. Bye. Because you couldn't let my dog sit on my lap. Ma'am, let's go. Thank you. All of you. Okay. To this individual violating the pet policy and getting violent with her fellow passengers. Patricia Yannette Cornwall, a former NFL cheerleader, doing much of the same. And then to this pair, refusing to deplane when asked, a racist homophobic man who said he worked for GlaxoSmithKline. He's a representative of the aircraft. They don't want you flying on their plane today, okay? So you're going to have to get After off the they aircraft. made us wait and wait and wait. And speaking of not deplaning, this drunken mess also did not oblige. I'm going to need you to grab your bag and just and step off the aircraft. And I did not do aircraft. anything, actually. Disrespect. We'll talk about Disrespect. it outside. Disruptive besides speak my mind. Okay. I know when I live in America, I'm not America's about. Calm down. No, you know Listen that. To me. Grab no, your bag. You know that. They kick at her. Oh, Yet on a recent Frontier Airlines flight, one passenger threatened another. One day that I'm gonna rock Doing this multiple times, here was the end result. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> Why they carrying her? Sheriff's deputies carried the unruly passenger by her arms and feet into a squad car. Feels rather excessive. And with this, at a time when everyone has something going on, including the flight attendants, is it hard to just be cordial? Is it hard to be respectful? 
If we reflect on it, it's the school rules we learned way back in kindergarten that we truly wish would carry over to adulthood.